An update tonight on a story we first shared with you on City News about a family that received this racist letter telling them to move out of their home. Now, the community outpour has been overwhelming, including the Suns football team that showed up at their home Wednesday evening to show their support. <laughs> This is the football team. One of the boys in the family who received the letter plays on. Wednesday evening, the team decided to defer practice and jog to the family's house. You know, he's their brother. He's their teammate. And it was no question that they wanted to jog to his house and just nothing more than to just show support and show that he's loved by his teammates. It was on Monday. Katrina Anderson says her family received the letter. I was disgusted. I was appalled. I... I was speechless. Like, I'm still in shock. Like, I don't know. We haven't done anything to our, our neighbors around here to deserve anything like that. The letter threatens the family to move out or things will escalate, saying, quote, would not want to see the kids getting hurt. This isn't a reserve. Go back to the reserve where Indians belong. I want my kids to feel safe where we live. We should have that right, right? It's 2018. I didn't think that racism was this bad. The family has now decided to move. The move despite community support with a many showing their disgust for the letter. Just gross. Just just really, really the gross vocal minority of, of ignorance that, that, you know, we, we've got to teach our kids is just unacceptable at all costs. Rob Patrick, who many know as Pepper from City News' sister station, KISS 91.7, coaches the football team. He's known Anderson's son for four years and says the family is very involved with their team. Pepper says when he spoke to his players about the letter, many of them were puzzled. What was eye-opening for me was that these 13-year-old boys seemed so innocently perplexed by the fact that there's this kind of hate out there. So, you know, well, the world has a long way to go, but to see 13-year-olds confused that there is this kind of ignorance is kind of a good sign that, you know, maybe it's starting to lose its effect. RCMP say they've received a complaint about the letter and are investigating. From Edmonton, Sheryl Tosaskiw, City News.